Has your Windows PC stopped performing like it was new? Is it getting slower as you use it? In this video, you will know why your Windows PC gets slow over time and how to fix it. Before we start this detailed guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. The Operating System Design one of the main reasons Windows PCs get slower over time compared to other operating systems is its design. The Windows operating system lacks the self-cleaning capability. When you keep using it, temporary files and registry keep bloating, making your PC slow. When you install new software, it creates an entry in the Windows registry. When you remove the software, the entry in the Windows registry doesn't always get cleaned. Now, when the OS looks in the registry, it checks that key and looks for the associated program, but that program doesn't exist. So OS has to wait for a few milliseconds until it gets the error, then it moves to the next key. To fix this issue, you can take the help of registry cleaning tools such as CCleaner. You can periodically run the registry cleaner so that it doesn't get bloated. Another fault of the Windows operating system is that it includes so many unnecessary features. You can disable these features and lighten up your system. There is a video on disabling 10 unnecessary Windows features on the channel. Click on the I button or check the description for the link. Watch it and disable those features that you don't use. Overload Startup Another reason your Windows PC gets slower is the overload startup. Most applications that you install opt for the startup even when they don't need it. When you start your PC, these applications also start running. They not only slow down the Windows startup, but also impact the performance as they keep running in the background using system resources. To fix this issue, right-click on the taskbar and choose Task Manager. Go to the Startup tab. Now observe each app and disable the startup for the app you don't want to run with Windows. Certain apps need to run as your Windows starts, such as your antivirus, drivers, and essential Windows services, so you should not disable them. Select the app and click on Disable. Software Installation Some software comes bundled with bloatware. They use your system resources even more than they require completing the desired task. Such software drastically slows down your computer. You should identify and remove such software if you have installed apps like wallpaper, themes, PC performance boosters, etc. Most likely, they're bloatware. You should remove them. Click on Start. Type Control Panel. Open it. Click on Uninstall a Program. Now carefully observe each program and remove the bloatware. You should also remove the programs you installed for one-time use and don't plan to use further. Select the program and click on Uninstall. Follow the instructions to remove them. The Updates. Another main reason Windows PCs get slower is the constant updates. When you purchase your PC, the operating system performance is up to mark because it was optimized according to the hardware configuration. But later, when they add new features through updates, your PC slows down because the new features require more system resources to run. So if your PC is much older, you should consider upgrading it. If you are using a hard disk, you can consider installing SSD and upgrading your RAM. Windows operating systems constantly evolve according to PC hardware norms, so you should also upgrade your hardware. Another thing you can do is delay the feature updates. Microsoft allows users to postpone the updates for 35 days. When a new update starts rolling down, it has several bugs, so it's better to wait until it's stable. Temporary Files Windows PCs accumulate a lot of temporary files and there aren't any self-cleaning mechanisms. The temporary files are used to access a file or website faster, but over time, the temporary files start taking more space in your hard drive and that makes your PC slow. So you should periodically clean the temporary files using the Disk Cleanup Utility. Click on Start and type Disk Cleanup. Open it, select the OS partition and click OK. Click on Delete System Files, select the OS partition and click OK. With this tool, you can delete all sorts of unnecessary files. You can clean old versions of Windows, Microsoft Defender files, downloaded programs, temporary internet files, system errors, and memory dumps. 
Recycle Bin, Temporary Files and Thumbnails. Select them and click on OK. Similar to the temporary files, Windows also uses cache. You can clean them to freshen up your system. There is a separate video on how to clear the cache in Windows 10. Click on the I button or check the description for the link. Use it and clear the cache. Hard Drive Corruptions Mechanical hard drives are prone to corruption, and that's also a reason for slow computers. You can check the health of your hard drive and determine if the time has come to replace it. To check the health of your hard drive, you can take the help of our video on it. Click on the I button or check the description for the link. If your hard drive has bad sectors, you should replace it. But now that you're purchasing a new storage device, you should opt for an SSD instead of mechanical hard drives. SSDs are much faster and less prone to bad sectors compared to HDDs. Dust Yes, dust is one of the main reasons for slow PCs. Electronic components attract dust. The dust starts to clog down the air vent and fan, so your PC begins to heat up, which impacts the performance drastically. So make sure to clean up your PC and remove the dust. If you're not experienced in such a task, you can take the help of professionals. If your PC still heats up, you should install extra fans and cooling systems. In case you're using laptops, there are laptop cooling pads available also. If you follow these steps, your Windows PC will be as good as new. You don't have to reinstall Windows every time it gets slower. That's it for this video. If you have any questions and suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your likes and comments motivate us to create such videos. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 Tips and Tricks.